In this video, then we're just going to have a look at this um, dynamic interactive search that works then with the uh, integration that we did with the um, standard WooCommerce um, integration. So to show you how this works, then if I select clothing, of course, the list then updates to just show the clothing. Um, and also you'll see here that the number of categories changed. If I move out of clothing, if I choose something that doesn't have a lot of options, so for example, decor doesn't have a lot of variations, then you'll see that the only thing that shows here is that single item. But then also down the left, you're not going to see any selectors that you can't use. So um, another one to look at then might be just to look at a color, for example. So if I look at that color, you'll see it only brings up the two items with the color. And as you can see, they're both in the category for T-shirts. So we'll clear that. Right, so that's just um, then very briefly and quickly how the um, filter works. Let's go and have a look at the plugin that was used. So um, what I'm going to do here is just show you the plugins. So we'll head over here to plugins and you'll see that I've used this Pofoli WooCommerce product filters and these are the details. So to show you how that works, then I'm going to expand here on the left, head up to the top here to Pofoli, and then I'll just show you the basic workings. You have filter blocks and then you have filter menus. So the filter menu allows you to create more than one menu on your page. And in that menu, you can create different filters. And then on your page, you can position those menus in different places. So for example, if we wanted to create a new menu and position it across the top, and maybe um, in that new menu, uh, we want to include, uh, can be any of these. So um, I'm not sure. Well, let's try then the category. So let's move this category menu um, to the top of this page. So to integrate into Brizzy, if we look at the template, you'll see that it uses a short code. So on the left, I have the short code, which renders the left hand menu. And then on the right hand side, I have a short code here that renders the shop. Now, if I wanted to add a filter here to the right hand side, and maybe what I'm going to do is um, add it just above this message, because this message is part of the short code for the products. So what I'm going to do then is head over here and I'm going to remove the category from this menu. That's all I have to do and hit update. And now you'll see that when I refresh, the category is no longer there. And then we're going to add a new menu. So uh, there are two things that I need to do. I first need to go into the category and set it to display horizontally. So just by clicking on that edit, I can move in here and then to set it to show horizontally, the display type will go from vertical to horizontal. So that's done. The second thing that I need to do is add a new filter menu. So we've got a filter menu, add new filter menu, and I'll just call this um, horizontal categories. Um, and then what I'm going to do is now look for that category. So I've dropped it in. I'm going to copy that short code. And then I'm going to publish. And then I'm going to head over here into Brizzy and I'm going to add that short code. So add, add the short code, pop that in there. Let's add the value. Right, that's the short code menu added. And we'll update, head over to the website, refresh. And now we should see those categories across the top of the page. And indeed we do, there are the categories. And now by selecting the category, then that changes. And then also the selector down the left-hand side changes. And then we also have this clear button. So if we don't like that clear button, because it kind of messes a bit with the, um, the site layout, then we can remove that clear button. So we'll just say, don't show the clear button. We'll update, head back, and what I'm also going to do at the top of the page, we don't need as much spacing, update, and then we'll refresh. Right, so here we have our shop. It's looking pretty good. And um, 
yeah um, now when i select accessories for example um, there's no bouncing around because we don't have that clear button appearing and then pushing everything out of the way so quite easily then to add and adjust your filtering as you want um, if we go to music uh, let's try something with a few more items in it so let's say clothing for example so when we're on the clothing page here, you'll see large medium small and the colors and if we go and have a look at that category so i'm going to go over to clothing and you'll see that when we're on the clothing page which is where we are now you will see that um, we have the same filter options down the left hand side so if i went to decor here um, that's all we see in decor and it illustrates the category there and if i go back to the shop view and i select decor i can see the same so that's pretty much um or pretty much how this um filter system works from Pofully, it integrates nicely with the uh, WooCommerce um, kind of uh, custom layout, not custom, but its default layout. And we've pulled that into the site using a short code. And now we can filter using this plugin. Um, and it works really well. And also, then, yeah, we have the message across the top. And that diminishes every time we add an item. So yeah, we have a pretty good looking shop. It all works. So I, um, this was the last video in a series of videos about bringing in the default WooCommerce loop and then showing it in Brizzy. And finally, then after the styling, adding this great filter plugin. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.